located almost 800 miles from Anchorage, Unalaska is the largest city in the Aleutian Islands. Unalaska has nearly 5,000 permanent residents and a seasonal population that grows up to 11,000 during peak commercial fishing seasons. Responsible for developing and preserving the physical infrastructure of this remote town is the City of Unalaska's Department of Public Works. Today we'll be talking with the Public Works Department and its people about the many challenges unique to operating the Public Works Department in a remote location. The Department of Public Works is made up of five divisions, Administration and Engineering, Facilities Maintenance, Roads Division, Supply Division, and Vehicle Maintenance Division. The Department of Public Works has 36 full-time employees with an annual budget of over $6 million. The Administration and Engineering Division is responsible for the overall management of the five divisions. This division also manages 44 capital projects and various stages of completion, with, with a fiscal year budget of over $103 million in 2019. Today we'll be talking with Director of Public Works, Tom Koner. I'm Tom Koner. I've been the Director of Public Works here for three years. Uh, I've been in Alaska for seven years. My typical day really involves about 80% is capital project related and about 20% is public works related. And so a typical day involves taking lots and lots of phone calls and never ending stream of emails and answering the questions from the public and trying to address their concerns and the issues that they have. It, maybe it's like a flood roadway or a culvert in front of their house or if it's storm drainage or snowfall or road issues. Sometimes we have avalanches and a block off the road and I take those issues and then I bring those to one of the supervisors of the five divisions and and discuss it with them and determine how we're going to handle that particular issue. And My biggest challenges really revolve around communication and communicating with the outside world, you know, being the mainland 800 miles away or vendors in other states and getting information from them via the internet. The internet is slow out here. As you know, the phone calls tend to drop off and contacting my supervisors, they might be out on a job somewhere and if I need to contact them, I might not necessarily get through. And so it gets a little bit frustrating sometimes. What I enjoy the most about my job really is the people. The people really make my job wonderful out here. They're fun to work with, they're adventurous sorts, and I, I just feel like we really do work together as a wonderful team. Also a part of the Administration and Engineering Division is Lori Gregory, the Office Manager at the City of Unalaska Department of Public Works. Hi, I'm Lori Gregory. I've been working at the Department of Public Works and Utilities for the City of Unalaska for approximately 14 years. I'm the office manager here. I have a staff of three and we support the admin and engineering functions of the Department of Public Works. We make sure that everyone in the community has electricity, water, sewer, a landfill. Uh, we maintain the roads, the facilities, and all the rolling stock that goes with maintaining those buildings and pieces of equipment. What we do is not unique, but our setting is very unique. It is difficult to obtain good employees and retain them. We're so far removed, we're on an island, and housing opportunities are very small here, and what you get is probably not what you're used to if you come from the 48 states. It takes a certain type of person to come here and make a go of it. If they say, we like to hike and kayak and watch birds and stuff, then they're in. But, uh, you know, if you want to go to the mall and to the theater, then you have to go somewhere else. Um, being so isolated is a problem if you're not willing to entertain yourself and you have to be willing to get on that plane and travel, you know, 800 plus miles here and back again. There are many things that go into uh, producing an asset for the city. And it's challenging to plan ahead to get all of your supplies to carry out a project. It's, challenging when you need a consultant to come in to speak to the council and there's no airplane. Um, the internet service here is very slow, it all goes on a satellite, so it's hard to get documents and plan sets and stuff, big files from even Anchorage. And that's just something you have to build into your time frame is you have to wait for the documents to load. And um, you know when you go to the mainland and see how fast it is, it's, we are hoping to have that someday. That's on our wish list of capital projects to get a better internet connection here. The favorite thing about my job, if I had to pick just one, I would say the people I work with every day. They're smart, they're fun, and they want to be here, and that makes a huge difference. I think we're very fortunate to have such a beautiful facility and uh, adequate funding to 
you know, pull off the projects that we want to do, and just wonderful people to spend your day with. There's nothing better. Last up for the Division of Administration and Engineering is Robert Lund, a city engineer at the Unalaska Department of Public Works. My name is Robert Lund. My job title uh, in Unalaska is uh, city engineer. I work for the city for um, six years now. Typical day is gonna, gonna start in the office and it, we get a lot of questions from the community. We have people looking for a permit for this or that, people looking for maps, or we provide utility maps, we provide all the kind of basic information so they don't have to go so far as having it surveyed and, and that kind of thing. They got enough information they can figure out if their project's gonna work for them. We spend um, more money on, on things because um, they have to be designed to the violent wind storms. We designed to 150 to 165 miles per hour. So there's, there's little specialty things here that we do with buildings and that kind of thing. Not just the structural, but just to keep the water out. If, if the siding isn't designed correctly, um, the rain doesn't just fall straight down. It's going to, uh, it's going to be horizontal. So if that isn't accommodated, um, then you're gonna have water coming up the doors or water getting into uh, your siding, which is, almost as bad for it as uh, that, uh, that windstorm blowing it over. Most of what we do is um, design bid builds, so um, the planning stages of things, it's probably the best part of engineering, architecture, that kind of thing. That's the fun part when you're planning something. I may not be involved in choosing what road we're going to pave, but I get to work on the details of it. So as far as how are we gonna pave this or what are we gonna pave, so I've got an awful lot of say in uh, what that asphalt's gonna look like or the sidewalk's gonna look like. The planning part of it that we get to do here, that is that is really a great part of the job. It's a pretty good place to work. Most people will seem uh, pretty mission driven. I mean, they, they take care of the public's equipment, whether that's the roads or the utilities out there. They, they've really adopted that stuff and they treat it, uh, they treat it like it's their own. The Facilities Maintenance Division in Unalaska consists of six full-time employees who maintain 30 facilities, 16 housing units, and eight parks. Today, we'll be talking with Facilities Maintenance Supervisor, Gary Jersley. Gary Jersley, I'm the Facilities Maintenance Supervisor. I met Tom down in Antarctica at Palmer Station. I used to tell him about uh, Dutch Harbor. I didn't know he was going to end up here, and I didn't know he was going to hire me to come back. But I always wanted to come back. Well, here I am since July 3rd of this year, and I'm loving it. <laughs> it's a very nice community, and they've got a lot of buildings for the size of the community. There's actually a uh, 78 assets that I'm responsible for. Now this could be a small pump house and it goes all the way up to the library, aquatic center, to the city hall and PCR. Usually I just come into work here and turn on the computer and check my emails, what yesterday's uh, work orders were that were left over and we go over what we're going to do um, for the day. Every day is a new day, lots of computer work, lots of searching, Lots of uh, looking for parts. Yeah, you never know what's going to come across the phone. There's a lot of the buildings, so we have to go through and, and visually inspect the boilers, uh, do any repairs if they go down. People get locked out of their buildings. We have a snow crew that goes out and shovels the sidewalks, salts first thing in the morning. I've worked in remote stations before, and I've worked in cities before. You know, and in cities, you're so used to, if you need something, just go to the store and buy, and it's there. Here, it's, that's just not going to happen. It's really hard to get parts, and you really have to plan ahead if you can. And for emergencies, we, you've got to uh, just uh, do what you can to keep it going until you get the right parts here. And because of the weather, the planes don't fly. And uh, figuring out what you're going to do and how to do it here when you don't have the parts. Yeah, that's the big issue. Here, you just don't know from day to day whether you're going to get in or not, and if you're going to get out. <laughs> it's easier to get into Antarctica than it is here, because they're, they're more prepared for it down there as far as storms and that, and so if you're going to come here, plan on staying. <laughs> I could work hours here, you know, I have to force myself to go home. There's just, there's so much to do, it keeps me busy, the people are great. I love the community. I love how everybody's appreciative when you do something for them. And uh, 
the friendliness is remarkable. So, well, all around, I just really love my job. The Roads Division is comprised of nine employees in the summer and ten in the winter. This division is responsible for maintenance and snow removal of approximately 42 miles of roads, nine of which are paved, and 15.6 acres of paved and gravel parking areas. Today we'll be talking with Jim Dixon, Roads Chief at the Department of Public Works. Hi, I'm Jim Dixon. I'm Roads Chief for the City of Unalaska. I've worked for the city for 30 years. This morning I had a call at 5 o'clock in the morning from Public Safety to inform me that we had new snow and the roads were icy. So I called in a couple guys after they had the main bus route cleared with gravel, then we moved on to the hill country with gravel. The wintertime duties are usually snow removal, graveling, salting, getting rid of ice, slippery roads, clearing snow, hauling snow. Spring and, and fall we're cleaning ditches cleaning culverts, trying to keep the water flowing under the roads instead of on top of them. Summertime, we're painting road stripes, fixing guardrails, fixing signs, trying to get uh, new gravel down on the gravel roads, a new wear surface, because through the winter, the plows grade the snow off, but in doing so, they grade the gravel off also. Unalaska's got a, a very large seafood industry, and there's an awful lot of trucks of fish, which have been processed, which are probably the 70, 80,000 pound loads. So they run over all the city roads. Now part of them, about nine miles are paved and the rest of the 40 miles of road in town are all gravel. So these heavy loads wear on the roads pretty well. And then of course, we get anywhere from 50 to 100 inches of rain a year here. So the roads get a little soft and it takes a lot of maintenance just to keep them you know, smooth enough that you can keep the freight moving. The whole of Unalaska, most all the roads abut the ocean. And then on the other side of the road, it's usually a cliff because I just chisel them out of the cliffs and push the rock in the ocean and call it a road. So either the cliff is falling down on the road and you're having to load it into a truck and haul it off, or storms are washing away the, the road from the ocean side and you're having to bring something in to build the road back. So it's kind of, you know, pending on the the types of weather and the events, you know, you'll have different things happen. And of course, the police will call in the middle of the night, you know, Captain's Bay Road's got a rock in it, there's only one lane of traffic. and So you have to go out and kind of figure out what it needs and get the equipment in and start working on it. Besides being road maintenance, the department has kind of picked up maintaining the cemetery, which doesn't take much, it's just that anytime anybody dies, we have to show up with a backhoe and dig a grave. So we're the de facto grave diggers in town too. You know, it's a small town atmosphere. You, you're not trying to deal with people you have no idea who they are. You're comfortable because you're dealing with people you know. There's a lot of people that, yeah, you know, you know them, you know their parents, you know their grandparents because they've been here forever. And I like that aspect of the job. The supply division consists of four employees responsible for maintaining inventory, and shipping and receiving for all purchase orders. Mileage and hour tracking is performed on 150 pieces of equipment for preventative maintenance scheduling. Today we'll be talking with Supply Division Supervisor Trudy Rose McKaig. I'm Trudy Rose McKaig. I have worked for the Supply Department for 23 years and I've lived in Alaska for 28 years. Every day is different. Every day starts off differently, you know. I mean, it could be from people coming in needing parts right away, people needing you to order things. Maybe a pump is broken down and you need to immediately get one flown out here. We have to keep things on inventory for repairs, but if something breaks that isn't normally something you would keep on hand, I mean, we have to get it out here quickly. And that's always a challenge, you know, with weather, planes not flying, barges, barge systems. So, it, yeah, it's a challenge. Vehicles are usually ordered, um, they, take, they can take up to six to eight months to get. Well, any chance we can get something in by barge, we're going to save money. So we try to do that. And it's also actually, it's less expensive to order from down south and ship up than it is to ship out from Anchorage. Part of our responsibility here in supply is to do the surplus sale twice a year. It's about a four month process. You just never know, you know, that one man's, you know, junk is another man's treasure. It's true. You see them, <laughs> yeah. I love this job. I mean, I just do. It's, it's, uh, it's exciting, it's fun. You work with a lot of people. It's always moving. You know, your job is never done. You know, I just, I like it, yeah. 
The Vehicle Maintenance Division consists of seven employees year-round. Its mission is to inspect and repair the City of Unalaska's 150 gas and diesel vehicles and machinery, including all police vehicles and fire trucks. Today we'll be talking with Chief Mechanic Joe Shiznikoff. I'm Joe Shiznikoff. I work as the Chief uh, Vehicle Maintenance Mechanic here at the City of Unalaska for the last 17 years. So I started here as an oiler and I've had uh, every position in the shop. I think there was uh, over 150 uh, rolling stock. A lot of maintenance places you'll have on the specialty shop, even a tire shop to take it to to have a tire fixed. And you know, basic maintenance just kind of checks oil and windshield wipers and just minor things, you know. But here there's nowhere to take it. So you have to learn as you go on a lot of it. You know? And be between the, all of us here, we got a lot of guys that can usually figure something out. You have to be self-sufficient. You know, we got a good team and you don't, took a while, you know, you don't just hire somebody to fill a slot, you know. Yeah, we have an older dump truck. We're doing all this work to it because we have to make do, you know. I think it's 22 years old. I mean, it looks like it's torn down to nothing, but it really isn't. Down south, they wouldn't put that money into it. They'd move it on. They'd have thrown it away 10 years ago. Just being on an island, we have to work together, and that's a lot for us to take care of out here. What's your favorite part of your current job? I don't know. I like, you know, being around the guys. and uh, It's a good crew. We all get along. And uh, but it's the favorite part, <laughs> like 5 o'clock. <laughs> The mission of the Unalaska Department of Public Works is to responsibly develop and preserve the city's physical infrastructure, which provides the foundation for the diverse and growing community of Unalaska and Dutch Harbor. It is with patience and dedication that the employees of the Unalaska Department of Public Works strive to understand and overcome the many unique challenges of conducting public works in a remote location.